Gang, the middle class famous tour is about to be in full effect. Woo! Come out and see us. It's a great way to introduce some new people to the show. So grab the homies, grab the ladies, the birds, the bozos, everybody, and come see us. Yeah, guys, we're going to be in Hartford, Albany, Syracuse, Atlanta, Tampa, Orlando, Pittsburgh, Buffalo. We ain't done yet. Detroit, Denver, Phoenix, Salt Lake City, Chicago, then over there to Roseman. And that's just the first leg of the tour. Going to be coming, so get the techies. We'll see you there. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Mm -hmm. It's a little show we sit down with your favorite comedians and we find out if they're to be classy or if they're just a big old piece of trash. I'm your host, Dave Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're down here at Antutti's basement. Good news. Starts a brand new job Monday. Okay. Yep. Going to be muling for a little while. <laughs> My co-host is coming at you from right next to me. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage? He's an international businessman. Let me tell you something, gang. The next time you're reaching for a best pal, do yourself a favor. Make it a kippy because it comes with a bunch of zeros. <laughs> Give it up for KJ, Kevin James Ryan. Really hamming me up at the end of the fucking month, huh? I know how you. I know how you. I want that Patreon process. <laughs> that YouTube money's about to hit. What do you mean? I got my room cleaned and all my chores done. What's up, gang? Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, view, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are true to roof. Cooking baby, and then obviously Patreon.com, the greatest website of all time. It's going to go down in history. Believe it or not. Uh, you can sign up, you get bonus content, AYG, hard feelings, live streams, the whole nine yards. Check it the fuck out. And how about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the magic man, makes mm -hmm. us all look good. We love him. You love him. T-Bone McMuffin, Toby McMullen. What's up, dudes? Everybody. Hey, T-Bone. I'm excited. We got the hottest guy in school. I hope he has He is dreamy. Oh, man. Getting a ride home from this kid. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. But he's, he drives a he drives a t top for sure. <laughs> this fucking kid. Your mom's hanging out the front window in a low top. No shit. Gang, okay, we could not be more excited to have our incredibly special guest, and I mean incredibly special guest, back with us again today. Family episode. We got a little company in the building. He's the host of the Boys Cast podcast. You know him. You love him. Give it up for Mr. Ryan Long, everybody. Yeah. Boys in the place. Also, I have been uh, recently telling people I'm going by uh, Kevin James Ryan. Oh, is that your name so, now? Yeah, yeah. Right. I mean, hey, <laughs> as long as I get some of those YouTube checks, I don't mind. Big Ryan guy. Kevin James. <laughs> that's oh, what I'm that's going better. with. Why, is your KJ. middle name Kevin? Yeah, it is now. <laughs> Six things up. This guy's stealing my identity. Yeah, no. I've Turn been... into a sociopath real quick. Yeah. I've been chatting with the high school kids. And... <laughs> no, that right, whole high school Don't use thing... my name to chat with the high school that kids. That whole high school please. thing was accurate. It was just recently. <laughs> <laughs> just a couple of weeks ago. I didn't catch him the first round. I go back now. I go, did you guys see my YouTube videos? <laughs> Standing there with a boom mic or something. <laughs> you got a football underneath your shoulder. Uh, oh, good stuff, buddy. How are you, man? Boys are in the building. Yeah, we're having... I, I was going to tell you guys that we had a garbage controversy on our podcast last week. Lay it on us. So Danny Polishuk was going off about how he thinks that after you finish with condoms, you flush them down the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Which I thought for a while is what you did as well. Which if is, you're a hitman. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> you flush them down. Yeah, the they jam up the plumbing, I've heard. This we said. And he was... <laughs> and he's like... Saying he's flushing them. I mean, his are smaller, but he's been. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. <laughs> it could be a close call. <laughs> Barely a mouthful. No, he's he's been flushing his whole life, and he's had clogged toilets, and we found out this why. And everyone in the comments was like, "This is fucking bullshit." And then someone told us that there was this one guy that that, that his he was a plumber, and this guy's toilet was so clogged, and then they unclogged with all these condoms. And he's like, well, I don't use condoms with my wife. Oh, oh God damn. That's how the guy found out <laughs> that his wife... Yeah, that's weird. Well, you wouldn't use condoms with your wife. Yeah. That's crazy. Uh, that's if you're that plumber, out. do you still charge the guy? What do you do? Well, <laughs> hey, buddy, this one's on the house. You, you want to stay with me for a couple of weeks? Ask the guy that she was fucking Daniel Polish, Chuck, co-host of the Boys Cast. Flushing him. Uh, Hold on. High school, you're in a pinch if you're at your high school girlfriend or college girlfriend's parents house yeah you don't want to leave that evidence around just out of respect you don't want to throw it in the old man's face 
It's like, yeah, well, you guys were out Christmas shopping. I was home on the couch doing shit to your daughter, you know? No, sure. I said you wrap it in a t- piece of toilet paper and take it because that's because you can't trust the girl. Take <laughs> it. <laughs> no, take it. I've 100% done that, yeah. Well, because- like, uh, What the, what are you, Dexter? <laughs> I've taken them as well. I've you used to- take it up? <laughs> what? You know, well, that's after when you- Well, like, yeah. And then she goes, what? where is it? And then you pull it out of the girl's ear. It's a fun- <laughs> <laughs> Not your nose. <laughs> a fun bit for the next time you see her yeah uh i've definitely i've taken i've done everything with them i've thrown them off a bridge <laughs> whatever you need i treat it like a fucking like a gun without the serial put numbers. one on concrete and threw <laughs> it in a <the> river <laughs> yeah you got i mean yeah trash can if that's applicable i thought you you wrap it up in a lot of toilet paper and just put it in the trash can I, the trash can if you're fine, if you're an yeah. adult of course, if you're yeah. an adult yeah. no yeah. but the, that's the thing like on the tours and stuff like that you can't always trust the what? I mean that's why Drake was yeah Drake you didn't puts hear the hot thing? he puts hot, so Drake puts hot sauce on the condoms to kill the sperms uh-huh and then if the girl tries to First of all, it kills the sperms, but then also gotcha. it's a little extra punishment for her if she tries to get it up there. Oh, that's that why ha- it does that, it? God. It happens. This is like that, not a made up thing. It yeah. happened to, uh, 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 a lot of, especially in the past. Basketball players? Basketball players. They, the girl- yeah, that's not happening to KJ in Raleigh on a Tuesday, all right? <laughs> oh, they see those I'm Patri- married, by the way. What are we talking <laughs> right. about? They see those Patriot hey, numbers. Don't don't the bus. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, babe. Yeah, and I was forget she she paid for this fucking. I wasn't place. I wasn't thinking like that. We're not on the fucking no, warp tour. This is hypothetical. Yeah, yeah totally. Hu- T Bone, zoom in. Totally hypothetical. It really is. Well, though. this isn't the clip. I'm just I'm just blown away. Listen, I'll give it to the kid. But the arrogance of you, you're taking it. Oh, it is. An, it is crazy. Arrogant. I'm not taking it. I'm not taking it because I think she's going to use it. I'm taking it to go home and plant a tree. <laughs> this Kevin, would have been, like, Kevin's been this seven girl's... years ago, too. Also, I jerked yeah, off. She in wants it. half of your Chevy Lumina. <laughs> also, I jerked off in it. Do you guys, do you guys tie? Uh, I don't tie it off. No, tie. that's crazy. Well, no, I obviously tie mean? it off because, you know. Dude, who big, are you guys? But... Seriously. <laughs> what? Do we tie what? <laughs> Do we tie what? What's going on? I don't tie. Is this a setup? <laughs> tie what, man? What? You, you tie the condom off before you throw it out? You know what out? a real G move is you leave it on and you go. <laughs> <laughs> I go to the bank. Do whatever. You know, I run my I run my errands with it. <laughs> you start getting soft. You put an elastic around. You go, no, no, no. Oh, rubber no. band on there? Uh, I see you. Oh man, a soft PP and a condom and a used condom, that's a tough look. <laughs> yeah. Yikes. I go from Saturday night to Sunday morning real quick. <laughs> yeah. It's bad. Yeah, it's not a party down there. Um what you've never you've had to flush one before. Of co- I listen, yeah. I said if you're It shouldn't it, be operation. The plumber community was having a field that they were not happy. Man. Yeah. No, yeah, it'll it'll fucking it'll clog you up. Get stuck in a pee trap. <laughs> Shout out to the plumbers local. But here's the thing. As a, you know. He hoofs it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why you tie it up. You know, you don't want that stuff getting loose. <laughs> I throw it over the telephone wire. You go <laughs> like, you're, like like a pair of sneaks. <laughs> That's you at the airport getting busted, and they go, "What's in your ass?" And there's drugs. You go, "I can explain it." There's, she's a, the girl, there's gold diggers out there, sir. <laughs> You're trying to trap me, officer. <laughs> I have a podcast. <laughs> have you ever heard of Patreon? We do pretty well over there. I don't want one of these whores coming after me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, how's it going? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, you gentlemen will excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I need some more rubbers. Uh, I got to be in St. Myers, Florida in two hours. Uh, <laughs> Hold on. As a discretionary measure in certain situations coming up, yes. As an adult living a single life, you know, doing your own thing, flushing it is crazy. Sure. Yeah. Either Tell that one, to the either, NBA either one of you bozos just... taking it to go. Like a fucking doggy bag <laughs> is crazy. That was and like, fucking Circus Jim over here, well, we collect tying them, them up yeah. is I nuts. Mean, tying them up is pretty bonkos, dude. Tying well, then up. you pin it to your wall and write the girl's name over top Give of it. Give it to the bearded lady <laughs> the or something. Bowl. You put that over the beer funnel. <laughs> <laughs> like their batting gloves. It's the world's grossest water balloon. <laughs> yeah, that dude. goes on the fucking Bud Light mantle. Oh, no, yeah. Tie it up. I've never, uh, I've never tied... I've taken it... I. I'm, I'm assuming I have in the... First of all, how much length you got in that thing that you can make a full knot? I get like halfway through that thing. Oh, I can make a giraffe, dog. What are you talking about? I can Toby, barely... Toby's double knotting it. I can barely make an earthworm. 
Um, there's supposed to be extra room at the end, right? Uh, <laughs> those things, I mean, that's for Jesus. Going. What the fuck? <laughs> Leave room for Jesus in the condom, right? That's what that means. Oh well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I, I mean, I wasn't like, I think. He's stressed I, out about this now. I'm almost. trying to remember. <laughs> I feel like I for sure have taken. I just can't recall. You might have a kid out there. You're just realizing. <laughs> Someone else getting cut into this Patreon all of a sudden. <laughs> T-Bone, cut this. Uh, yeah, no. I'm sure I've taken it at some point to dispose because, like, I didn't know what to do with it. I didn't want to flush it down the toilet. I don't want to, you know, I don't know. Maybe there wasn't a trash can or something. It just you. feels, like, very stealth. You go in and out without a trace, man. You yeah, know? it's really weird. It <laughs> like, is. it's that Biggie Smalls, so, you know? Yeah, you got to go to, like, can't trace the semen. <laughs> <laughs> Thrown in a dumpster behind an Arby's or something. But just any remote chance, remote chance, something happens to you. What was in his pockets? They go through your pocket. Yeah, used condom. I mean, I, that's, that's from two weeks ago, that's a, sir. That's a tough look. That's yeah. conspiracy theory. <laughs> if he had four used condoms on <laughs> It was a long night. Uh, yeah, that's. Kept one in his hat. <clears throat> How do we start talking about this? He's uh, the the, Danny Paul. I saw you guys. Ta- I saw oh. the tweet about it or whatever. Oh, the flushing of the condoms. Yeah. yeah. You had to do a public apology, but I feel like it was the garbage move. So that's why I was, it, it <laughs> is like trashy I was for bringing sure. up here. You shouldn't be doing it. I will say this, though. I know this is going to sound bad um, environmentally, but when it comes to stuff like that, I'm not worried about that. Like, you know, they say, like, don't flush the wipes, the, the butt wipes, because they do this or. You know, don't put bacon grease. No, that down one's the true. The only if no, you're I doing, know they're true. Like I, say, you a, I say no, 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 no. I'm not saying they're not true. I go, you know, they go, don't uh, wipe with fucking paper towels or whatever. And yeah. you go, okay, well, I'm the doing Best. that. I say the, you know, you meet in the middle where you go. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'll rip it in two. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. you got to do the yeah. You got it. It gives you more grip. It's all right. <laughs> That's how you're meeting in the middle. Yeah. That one can come back to haunt you though. That really you you th- there's a instant gratification with that where that like affects like two flushes of that. And your toilet could be clogged. You up could be in a jammed up. Yeah, you yeah. don't want to do that at someone else's house. You end up like Ben Stiller, uh. nine, nine movies back to back in toilet issues. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I shit again. Uh, have you ever clogged a public or like somebody else's toilet? I had a pretty fucking good one too. I was at my buddy's uh, step uh, step parents' house, Ooh. and his stepsister comes running out. The fucking toilet's dripping everywhere. There's shit everywhere. Oh. And I, I was there like. Did everybody know that you were? Everybody knew it was me, and it was very like. Well, hold on. Her dad, her dad, the uh, the dad, kind of being like, "All right, uh, it's not your fault." Uh, <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> I would have ran away, dude. I, I would have ran out the front uh, door. Hold on, watch that mic too, because they're they're not that strong. You gotta lean into it a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah. But uh, so you paint me this picture. Did yeah. you not flush, or did you flush too much toilet paper? That's how it always. Hold gets on, you, did man. you did you clog it and walk away like nothing Big happened? Clog. No, 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 no. Did you make an attempt to clean it? I up? think that I, I think I've in this specific scenario, I think I've flushed, uh-huh. and it. You I, thought everything was cool. I didn't know it was an issue. That's not really his responsibility. And then next thing you know. There's a, you know, 14-year-old stepsister running ah! out like... <laughs> Her pants are wet. She's singing a different She's tune. Soaked, yeah. Oh, man. She... The fact that it's a kid makes it way worse for it was, you. It was a rough, like, I was the... If it was like an uncle, the, they would have been the, like, yeah, I think they can't If it was anyone her. else other than me, because anyone else, they could just yell at them. With me, it was a very awkward scenario. Sure. But I've had a few of those where... But I don't know. I, my first defense to the dad would have been, yo, when I left, it all flushed. So I don't know what the kid's yeah, talking about. You got about. fucking shoddy plumbing in here. Yeah. But it's also like, I thought, I if thought, I was me now, I would have those kind of cojones to be like, I didn't fucking clog shit, bitch. Like, you clogged, you know what I mean? Yeah. At the time, I was, I was combing my hair, you little bitch. I was, ca- <laughs> <laughs> I was caught off guard at the time. I go, what? I, what? Okay, yeah. what? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I, yeah, okay. And plus, I thought that you did your business, you flushed it, it was clogged, and you, you just, thought I made you a just break dipped for out. It. Yeah, that's well, if I made different. that break for it, I probably would have went home and never came back. You never see the person again. Yeah, you got to yeah, you got to cut all plunge. ties. Ask for a plunger. It's not me and my body, I, I had one where me and my body were with t- two girls at the girls' house, and the girl took a shit, clogged the place pretty bad. Ow. And we were fucking oh. basically just like uh, I can't remember. She had some nickname forever. That's basically all that came of Debbie it. Debbie the but. deuce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, the we shit, were, the shit water hits the floor. You Debbie got real problems. <laughs> we went, we went up. There was Kills like the vibe. I guess it was like twelve guys and twelve girls. We were like in college, I think we all went out. We rented a house in the Poconos, and my my one boy Vinny with the skinny. It was always like you had to dip off because there was only like one or two bathrooms. And we were up there for you like three days, fucking yeah. drinking, yeah, partying for three four days. 
So at some point, you know, you're it's it's everybody's getting hemmed up, and my one buddy clogged the toilet twice in the weekend, <laughs> and like it was so clearly him because he would disappear for like an hour and a half. <laughs> Like, where's it's like Vinny a, at, like a dog know? who shit on the rug. Yeah, and then like <laughs> he's hiding behind the cooler. <laughs> Cuts to him. He's in the corner and stuff. Yeah. Cloyd, yeah. Oh, once man. you get once you're in someone else's bathroom working the plunger, you're fucking. Uh, that's, that's like, that's dude, it's, like it's like cutting a body in half. <laughs> let me. You're like, how did I get yeah, here? Yeah. <laughs> but let me tell you something. Rom com. Having the plunger really solves ninety percent of the problems. It's usually never that clogged. Thank God there is plungers. You know how many times I've done that in a social situation? Yeah. No, when I'm like, this is gonna be. So embarrassing, and I'm looking around the fucking bathroom. Well, it's also to, like then you find the plunger in the back of the thing wrapped in a fucking shoprite bag. Oh, thanks! It's always God. wrapped in a plastic start bag. Fucking yeah. working, but it's always <laughs> like I'm like fucking Clooney on ER. Like, come on, <laughs> goddamn it! Not tonight. No, <laughs> not dude. on my watch. Live, goddamn it! Live, <laughs> dude. I'm going ham. <laughs> I just want to get out of there. Hitting him with adrenaline. <laughs> <laughs> Narc him again. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, that's tough. But it's always like, uh, you know, it only really matters on away games, right? If you're at someone's house. If you clog your own toilet. You move, yeah. Fun. At <laughs> home, I'll leave it there but for that's the what weekend. I'm how are you, you not, me? like, how are you not taking precautions? Like, how are you not courtesy flushing? How are you not being like, all right, don't use too much toilet paper? Like, courtesy get flush, you don't this. get to see it. Oh, uh, you're right. You're a little weird. These can <laughs> these Canucks are a little bonkos. <laughs> I like to take a look at it, you know. <laughs> uh, I didn't buy a ticket not to see the show. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I gotta get the photo <laughs> for the album. <laughs> Send to the trainer. Oh, oh, God, it's good stuff. Oh, so he made a formal apology. Okay. Yeah, it's good to the community. It's good <laughs> <laughs> to the plumbers. To but the never local. apologize to a plumber. He's trying to be a better. A plumber shitter. wants you to be stupid. They want you to mess up. They want to come in and That's find. That's how they get paid. They want to come in and find a shoebox full of condoms, fucking stuff. No, they the gotta sense. act indignant the same way that like a guy that wants to fuck a girl and her boyfriend's being an asshole. He goes, "Oh, that's so crappy." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah really, you go ching. <laughs> Who was it? Um, it was. It's the third house she's done it to. She always calls that plumber. It was Kate from Barstool who she lived in a house. One? No, she lived in a house for four years and put all the condoms. Behind, like, just dropped them between her bed and the wall after they were done. Oh, yeah. And then her dad came to help her move her out Stop. and, like, pulled the bed back. And there was no. just, like, four years of her, you know, being promiscuous. And he's like, she's like, she didn't say, he didn't say a word. And then we were, like, we were in the car after, like, three hours on the Pennsylvania Turnpike. And he just started crying. Yeah. She's like, it was like, I've never felt so bad for her. Oh, she could have just been, it was one guy. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I mean... <laughs> I, she said she was living a, living a little rowdy at the time that it was, you know, clearly not one guy or something. She was uh, losing a lot at the time. Tossing him behind the bed is nuts. Yeah, that's crazy. For an extended period of time, yes, of course. You gotta How the wait? Well, I mean, <laughs> what's an extended period of time? I, I mean, listen, I, I, I look at it. I look at it the way everybody does. On Sunday night, you make sure that you, you clean up all evidence of anything you did fucked up that weekend. So that's, you're saying, that's like, a, that, that's an in the heat of the moment, you throw it off. Yeah, you throw it behind there. You got it the next day. <laughs> yeah. Or you put it in a Ziploc bag and take it home and stuff bury it. Stuff it in a cigar bag. <laughs> <laughs> Pop it, it in the freezer and then you shatter <laughs> it. <laughs> Who wants popsicles? <laughs> Couple of psychos. Kippy, let's talk about athletic greens. Athletic greens? Athletic greens. I'm not just a pusher. I'm also a user, baby. Yeah. AG1. Love it. Yeah. It's good stuff. I really, listen, coffee was giving me anxiety, mm -hmm. okay? I have this in the morning on an empty stomach. I have it while I work out instead, yeah. of, instead of a water. I'm telling you, it 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 does more than the water. Yeah. It, it like, no, of it, course. It gets you going. It's like a high-power multivitamin. It's got everything you need in Dude, there. It's fantastic. Plus the gut health, which I really wanted. That's why the founder started. He was having really? issues. Yeah, and then he got into that. Um, it's fantastic, guys. It costs less than $3 a day. And if you're investing in your health, it's cheaper than a cup of cold brew. Uh, Athletic Greens has over 7,000 five-star reviews recommended by professional athletes, scientists, the whole nine yards. It's lifestyle-friendly, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, dairy-free, gluten-free. They got you covered. No GMOs, no chemicals. It's all natural, baby. Yeah, I'm telling you, try it for a month while you're working out. 
I guarantee you want to do it for another month. Yes. It's good uh, stuff. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do go. is go to athleticgreens.com slash garbage. Again, one more time, that's athleticgreens.com slash garbage to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Do it. Yeah. Kip, let's talk about Bombas. Bombas. Bombas, baby. Let me tell you something about Bombas, gang. Yeah. Their mission, real simple. Make the most comfortable ever clothes ever, mm -hmm. then match every item sold and donate it. Yes. So you're literally, when you buy Bombas, you're helping someone else out. Yes. You're giving to someone in need. Yes. There's good peeps over there at Bombas. Man, that's cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, they design their socks, shirts, and underwear to be the clothes you can't wait to put on every day. Uh, everything they make feels soft, seamless, tagless, has a luxurious, cozy feel. Love and I'm that. big into luxurious stuff. Big into the cozy on my Yeah, own. so um, there's a pair of Bombas socks for everything you do. They come in a ton of options. Uh, comfy performance styles for every sport activity that keeps you moving. The Bombas t-shirts are made with thoughtful design features like invisible seams, soft fabrics, the perfect weight so they just hang. They hang just right. Uh, go to bombas.com slash garbage to get 20% off your first purchase. That's bombas, B-O-M-B-A-S dot com slash garbage for 20% off. Bombas.com slash garbage. Do it. Now back to the show. Back to the show. Uh, All right, let's get into some questions, Ryan. Thank you so much for coming in and sitting down with us, gang. As you know, when you sign up for the old Patreon there, you get a question read on the air with the boys. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this one is from somebody who wants to remain nameless. Ooh, really? Yeah. That's it's not awesome. even that steamy. Is it garbage to consider yourself a D1 college athlete if you were the mascot? I would say for sure. Is it garbage or like sleazy? It's we. I, I guess it depends on how you're claiming it. If you're at a bar being like, yeah. And by I, the way, I, I, don't I, say, I don't say sleazy in like a derogatory way. Yeah. Let me be clear like, welcome on to that. the party. You know <laughs> yeah. <I> mean? <laughs> Let's <laughs> take our condoms with us. I mean, you're obviously, who are you saying that to like impress a group of guys? You just, it's obviously you're trying to impress a chick. Yeah. I don't think you're trying to impress another group of like football players. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> I know the struggle, buddy. I was the lion. You know what I mean? <laughs> Did you ever try to jump through a flaming hoop? Talking to Gronkowski at a bar. <laughs> Yeah, I guess you'd be using it, you know, <laughs> to pick up to a try chick. to pick up a chick at a bar of like, yeah, or maybe you claim to it to the glory days. Yeah, just as a life flex. Um, I say, however you want to feel about it, he is. A, they, they are Division One athletes. They get scholarships. They're fucking highly paid at a professional level. The mascots at those big schools. They're yeah, fucking they make good money. So they, get, they, they like work their way up the mascot circuit. They do. Fuck yeah, they start Dude, out you on get open scholarships mics. for Come that. Come on, yeah, no, you have to. Yeah, let you me get tell you something. Scholarship. If, if you're a high school kid, they're like, they're like gymnasts. I don't. I don't know. Oh. If, I don't know if the, this is the way it is now. But Stop. If you're a, if you were a high school kid in the '90s and nobody thought of this, kid I went to high school with became the fucking mascot uh, for us. Then went on to fucking college and was the mascot there. Ended up fucking working for the Houston Rockets. No way. For he was the like, rocket. For, Can you believe it? For like 20 <laughs> years. Something like that. Killed it. There's That's a whole crazy. team behind that stuff. Yeah, but I mean, there's only like, you know, what is there? Roughly 30 professional jobs. I know, I'm saying. That's so why I like, said if you would have thought. There's like 100 of those positions. I thought I mean, they threw like a concession guy in a fucking <laughs> costume. <laughs> Jimmy, you're up. Get the hat, will you? <laughs> Randy's back is acting up. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. It was get the a, fanatic no, suit on. Yeah, that's like, they that's make a lot business. of big business. Yeah. People, can, you, can, you get, can you pull up a salary on mascots? Uh, I, from memory, I remember that Benny the Bull makes around 250K. Stop it. 250. I thought, that was, I thought that was a different bull every day. Like, I didn't know. <laughs> Does it make a wish, kid? They shot the old one. Yeah. Well, they, win the they, do, they do corporate gigs, and they get paid out the ass. Are they doing good at the corporate gigs? Oh, yeah. Well, I know somebody who. If you're having a corporate gig, and you don't got the San Diego chicken, you're fucking losing. Corporate gigs are so weird for those. Like, Because what do you really do? You just sort of bop around. Like, I know a guy who was a magician. He'd do corporate gigs, and they'd hire him to do hand magic uh -huh. so you kind of just walk up to people that weren't interested and be like oh pick a card and everyone's like get it's this like guy hey i'm trying to seal the deal over here bro. <laughs> which is so strange this guy? by the people that run companies that like why would you want to do this thing that makes it awkward for everybody it's cr they think people are like i think someone gets put in charge of the committee and they're like i don't know what do you got okay get a fucking magician let's just get this thing over with <sighs> they think it would be good it's the same as like common have you ever done corporates of course have, they, have any of them gone well you're not less, a really a corporate cup of tea. <laughs> less have gone well. Unless it's like a tattoo shop. <laughs> I went something. with a buddy who's way... <laughs> no, I've done a fair amount. He you know what the problem is? He killed the bounty hunter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whole, whole family loved him. <laughs> 
the corporates they go fine if uh if it's only like 10 15 when it starts pushing 35 40 clean yeah, they check try. out yeah <laughs> and i, I and you I, don't I, have it really the clean <laughs> material oh no, no yeah peanuts are weird my or body he was so this guy jj who we tour with he's like the raunchiest dude and he was doing some he was bombing so it's you know you get to that thing where you go fuck i'm bombing like if I, I could do better if I start doing my dirty shit, sure. but I will be in fucking trouble. Sure. And he decided, fuck it. I'm, I'd gone, rather yeah. lose this than bomb because this is very, very painful. <laughs> Which is a, I, I got to support, support the decision. It's an admiral choice. I've done right. it. Right. It's like whatever they're going to say to me after is not as bad as what's happening yes, right now. Yes. I need a fucking lifeline. <laughs> Let me say fuck. <laughs> yeah. So he starts doing this joke about how some girl has a clit like a fucking baseball bat. Oh and God. then the guy goes, the guy who's running it just looks at me because I've run him fucking open for him. He just looks at me. He goes, get him off. Uh, get him on stage. <laughs> And then, uh, so I mean, they that's kick him off. It. He's, and then apparently, yeah, there's a difference between like dirty and like yeah. clip being a baseball bat. <laughs> and he was doing the act out. He goes, uh, Oh, yeah. So he's, and this guy said he almost got fired over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Some, the, the some like marketing guy <laughs> probably loses his job. <laughs> yeah. He said it was a problem. Damn. I did a, I did a fundraiser one time and I had to work clean. And I was bombing. I mean, I sucked at the time and I was bombing. And like I went to do a joke, and I did, I realized it was dirty. And I'm like, ah, I can't do that when it's dirty or whatever. And they were like, do it. And I'm like, oh, all right. Is. And then that bombed. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, all right, maybe I'm just not good. <laughs> dirty, clean. I don't know what you probably be yeah, want. You stink. <laughs> well, that's the oldest trick in the book, is because you always say, what do you want? And they're no, they're not going to be like, yeah, we're pussies. Yeah. All yeah. you. And by the way, if 80 people say clean and one guy says dirty, you go, you got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the people have spoken. Yeah. <laughs> That's very true. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> All this drink in the book. But yeah, no, the corporates. Uh, Remember, you took me to doing do them. one. I took you to do one. Um, and he was like, yeah, just do like eight minutes up top. I, I did about 35 <laughs> seconds of bomb. And I'm like, you guys ready to get this show started? <laughs> Got the fuck out of there. <laughs> Magic is sort of the trashiest job. Like, I had the one friend who used to do magic, and he would always be trying to do the street tricks. And he used to walk around with his shoe untied. And then you'd go, uh, he'd be like, oh, your, your shoe's untied. And then he would go, whoosh, 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 and it would tie the shoe. Oh, my God. And then people would be like, all right, get this guy out of here. <laughs> 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 he's just like, he's nonstop. That's the I know how he did it, too, if you want to know. No. I kind of do. <laughs> he goes, no, he goes, I can't be trusted That's the with guy that who power. Looks like he's floating on top of the cane. I can, can kind of do that. <laughs> when, they, when Chris Angel or whoever showed you how to do it. Uh, well, Chris Angel's. Uh, tricks these days like all those new guys like even David Blaine their tricks are just like I'm gonna have a guy punch me in the face 500 yeah. times I'm like, gonna freeze my balls off for three <laughs> they're days. in tricks he just holds his breath He's like buddy get a coat this isn't a trick and you're like right? what's the trick he's like you go yo I put a sword through my fucking arm you go what's the trick he's like it just hurts a lot yeah. <laughs> you just I'm take just, the pain I've seen David Blaine do some pretty cool shit oh yeah, all, yeah of course they're top magicians scared the, the hell out of those people in the DR or wherever but the he was new, the new school like magic thing is like is less it's like magic. stunts it's like <laughs> yeah, it's more like yeah I'm gonna he goes, fucking. I, he goes. I'm gonna go stand on the roof for three days. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally what it is. <laughs> it's like weird shit. Have you ever been to a show? Magic show? Yeah, yeah. I've seen a couple. Are yeah, this one guy. It's a buddy of mine. I went to his wow, thing. Wow, talk about. They do garbage. jokes. They're all like kind of half comedians, to be honest. How big was the audience? Uh, I've seen a few times, but one with like 500 people. Really? Yeah, and they kill too. Like they get. They do. They, get they don't laughs. have to be funny, and but they don't then they to... end up being funny. And they also don't have to be their jokes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, exactly. They're just, just like street, street jokes. Kind street of. Yeah, jokes, yeah, yeah. essentially. They're smashing. Dude, I saw uh, Siegfried and Roy. Jokes. Did I ever tell you this? You saw Siegfried and Roy? Uh, yeah, back in the day. Down to shore? <laughs> uh, in that? Vegas. Uh, it was, they, I don't know how they did it. They were in the stage, and then they ended up, one of them was on our table. Like, the lights went out, and the lights came on, and he was standing over my chicken fingers. And we were like, how the fuck did he get here that quick? I still don't know how he did it. It was like, lights went off for five seconds, and he was 500 yards away, and then he ended up standing on our table. Nude. <laughs> it was a tiger, but still. His dick's out. It's right, uh, in little, it's right in front of a little I kid. mean, hey. <laughs> and you go, hey, you on the flip the lights back on? He goes, what were you saying? <laughs> Yeah, it Prove crazy. it. <laughs> Couldn't get tickets for Carrot Top, though. That's trashy. The Top. Um, David Copperfield. He called him The Top. <laughs> We're here to see The Top. David Copperfield was classy. He was the last classy one, I think. When magicians He was were a magicians. gentleman. Yeah. Siegfried and Rose was pretty classy. Throw the bloodbath. <laughs> <laughs>
I never even like even as like a set like copper would be like I'm gonna make the Empire State Building disappear and as like a seven yeah, year old dude. I'm like no you're not <laughs> all you're, you're, do- all you're that. doing is taking Knight Rider off for a week you're <laughs> yeah. fucking killing me yeah I'm gonna make the Statue of Liberty disappear I'm like you I don't know anything but you are not doing that well, yeah. the TV magicians are even crazier because theirs was like okay now I'm gonna be on the top of the statue and you're like I know that you cut yeah. like this is watching <laughs> this a TV wasn't a show. whole shot it's not live on one <laughs> shot it's like. How stupid do you think I am? I'm, I'm going to st- teleport. <laughs> I'm going to teleport in a split second. <laughs> right after these words. And now I'm right black and white. Yeah. Um, I had a buddy who dead serious believed that Chris Angel walked on water in like the Bellagio <laughs> fountain. I'm like, no, he didn't, man. He's like, well, then explain it. I'm like, I don't fucking glass. Dude, I don't know. Every, everybody got swept up in that shit in the early 2000s. Mind man. freak. Everybody. Yeah. Hook, line, and sinker. Yeah. yeah All that shit. That's fucking... Well, it's good if you do it like once or twice, but then when you have a weekly show, it's like, all right, I'm starting to see the seams in this. You know what I mean? <laughs> the one he just makes pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the caterers at that fucking... Ve- at those Vegas clubs are pretty fed up with his nonsense probably by now. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, when he disappears and he's sitting on the cooker, he goes, yeah, just four <laughs> minutes till the- I'm in the kitchen. <laughs> Woo. I need somewhere to wait. <laughs> head- They're still doing the lights out there, so. <laughs> His head pops up out of the salad bar. He's <laughs> oh, fucked it up. <laughs> he messed it up. Uh... Oh. Anyways, that's pretty crazy. The mascots are fucking. That is, yeah, that big, is. Is that how we got like there? That. I mean, yeah. I would think that. that I would think that, like anybody who's not, you know, half an asshole, wouldn't be going around saying, um, you know, yeah, there was one athlete. You know what I mean? Saying shit like that. Dude. If somebody asked or whatever, it's like, oh, you were the mascot at Michigan. That's pretty cool. Yeah, but pimping using that <laughs> language, you're kind of an asshole. But. On paper, technically, they are Division One athletes. Yeah. The question is really is, did it work? Like, did it, did any girl have you ever smashed because of the mascot? I think you. I think you. It would be cooler if you were. If all you have to say instead of saying Division One athlete, be like, yeah, I was the fucking Boilermaker at Purdue or whatever. You know what I mean? Why is that? I don't get it. Yeah, I don't get that either. Boilermaker. The the guy. The, I don't know what uh, Purdue is either. Oh, it's a, <laughs> they make a hell of a chicken. I know that much. Boiler. It's no, college. Maker. It's a college. I know it's, it's a college, college football team. <laughs> Uh, okay. I'm saying you wouldn't have to say Division One athlete. It'd be better to lead with the mascot. Sure, I get it. I yeah. Sure. Does that make sense? Uh, of course. I'd just say, hey, I was a yeah, yeah. I guess. Uh, I would assume it's like- just probably coming up in drunk fucking arguments of like, you don't know, I was a D1 athlete, yeah, yeah. and you're like, ah, I don't know about that. <laughs> well, That's yeah, probably that. where it's coming up at. I would give it to him. Well, there's also part of I found a whole article about uh, college mascots. Should be part of the theater district or something, you know? 100%. Not athletes. <laughs> In the theater uh, That's club. pretty good. Uh, part of it is they have to maintain a secret identity. Yeah, they can't say. Wait, what? What? Come on. Yeah. Get yeah. kidnapped by the other team or well, something. Well, that means Bayside will kidnap you. <laughs> it's a plot of everything. We, lost five, we lost five bulldogs before we realized that. <laughs> You don't know what Purdue is or the Boilermaker. I didn't know Boilermaker. Jesus. It's a shot in a beer. The two of you. Yeah, that's how I know a Boilermaker shot. I'm going to be honest. I don't know what a mascot is. I'm just trying to riff here. <laughs> I'm Canadian, you know. They're, they're illegal in Canada. <laughs> I'm trying to keep up. <laughs> <laughs> they're government employees up there. <laughs> they work nine to four every day, and that's it. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's great. I had a buddy who... Uh, Used to say he was in the he was the kicker in the Arena Football League, and there was like out at a bar. There's no real way to prove that wrong. He'd be like, "Yeah, I'm the kicker on the Philly Soul," and they were like, "Are you?" He's like, "Yeah," and he was like, "Build enough." And they were like, "All right, I guess so." And we used That's to love telling awesome. girls we were the bass player in Maroon Five. Uh, <laughs> just, you could pull that off just visually. Picking, yeah, just picking weird bands, that... just playing with a pick, like flipping it in your fingers. But I just love underselling. Like you're not, you don't even pick like the coolest guy. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just did a studio session with Michael Stipe. You know? Yeah, I was the third guitar player in our. Kid. Far, so. yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, this one's in the same vein of the magic. Show. Have you ever been to a? Fr- this is from Dan. Have you ever gone to a free concert that like a radio show put on? Or, yeah, like, one of those big festival type things, like the Governor's Ball. <laughs> Governor's Balls isn't free though. Oh, That's it's not? expensive. Yeah, uh, like one hundred one Palooza. They do like they you it. know, yeah, like radio stations or whoever will put on like shitty festivals or like a fucking fairground or something. Yeah, I think I. I mean, I I played in bands for like ten years, so I was like, "What were you, the guitarist? Not uh, drums, but I sang in that band." 
But I've probably done a million of that. A drummer kind of singer? Yeah, but then we had a drummer. Really? What are you, Don it, yeah. Henley? You're singing, <laughs> yeah. you're singing from behind the kit? I was doing drummer singing. Oh, that was always a tough look. I yeah. hate to break it to you. <laughs> well, that's why we got the drummer. It was a tough look. <laughs> Dude, when one of the, remember that? They got rid of that shit MTV real early. But for a little while, there was a couple of dudes hanging out. Sure. Yeah. It was Don Henley. They had Phil Collins Phil back Phil Collins there. did it. But it's like... Somebody it, had to be... On someone's got to be morning. moving around. Give me a mascot yeah, no or shit. something. Hey, sure. Knock this off with the drummer <laughs> singing. They had a big when SARS was happening. They had a thing in Toronto called SARS Stock. Oh, my and, and God. <laughs> these fucking Canadians are nuts. <laughs> Come on out to SARS Stock, you know? <laughs> It'll be a real hoot. <laughs> Wear your mask. So they, they Welcome to, back to Heart Disease of Palupa, everybody. Oh, <laughs> uh, here's even better. The biggest band. I'll tell you what it starts in a second. But the biggest uh, band in Canada is Tragically Hip. They're called right. It's the hugest band in Canada. Like basically, like every cottage fire, you know, anthem, right? And the second biggest band is a cover band called the Practically Hip. Uh, <laughs> that does like almost <laughs> as big as numbers. <laughs> <laughs> They're bigger than the actual band. Wow, that's weird. <laughs> Practically Hip does numbers, but the SARS stock was apparently. I think there was like a stage issue and a bunch of people died and they were trying to raise money for SARS and the Rolling Stones played. That's pretty good. And the Blues Brothers. The biggest, the biggest concert that ever came to Toronto, sort of, but then... Coming next COVID died. Fest, eh? <laughs> uh. And Justin Timberlake. <laughs> what was there? There's a big festival. At SARS Fest? Yeah. <laughs> was, that, was that 98 or 2001? Which one was it? 2003. I was Damn. at the original one. Way better. <laughs> And also Rush. This is the programming's all over the place. I'm telling you, it's it the biggest festival. Security by the Hell's Angels. <laughs> they, Wait, they, they, uh, they legitimately, that's not untrue. They <laughs> really? did have Security by the Hell's Angels, which was a part of the controversy when all this stuff was happening. They didn't have like the right union guys because there was stage issues and all this stuff. The Hell's Angels are still around in 2003? Oh, dude, they're still around. And in Canada? You think they disappeared? I don't know. The Quebec, uh, they're all French. What, this sounds like pagan shit to Apparently, me. Apparently, the Hell's Angels are all in Quebec, and a lot of them got locked up. There's a lot of them. They just had. They, they used to have. Uh... By pagans, did you mean the other biker gang? Yeah, <laughs> I'm a Hell's now. I'm kidding. Uh, I they, they used to have in the East Village. They used to have a huge fucking like. Uh, Brownstone. I didn't know they were still working security at venues. They, they, well, they're low. Let alone they're, one that's I don't a know benefit for members. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, they're probably prospects. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, it's one of those. You know how every Italian guy is kind of like a, a in low key, like a bit connected. Yeah. Every you know every biker is like you know my boys, boys kind of. I just watched oh, a video really? where these like three dudes like kind of started their own. Gang, like they had like a patch on. That's a big thing. I started a gang as an adult. Is well, funny. yeah, they were just kind of like, hey, we ride together. Yeah, we'll start doing stick up. See, <laughs> they're like, hey, oh. we ride together. You know, maybe meth. Who knows? Yeah, just and friends. Just right. friends. I'm like, yeah, but like they were like living in like the sons of anarchy, like you know, and they had the pa- they had to came up with their own patches or whatever. So they were losers. Is what you were <laughs> and they some they they were at a gas station filling up, and like these fucking six, you know, real fucking gangsters <laughs> rolled up and fucking pulled their number, dude. Ron Perlman pulled up on a fucking. <laughs> <laughs> on a hog started cleaning house uh, my yeah, dad like take that fucking patch off they're like who let oh, they, they, they yeah said, and it's all videotaped like all right man we were just hanging out we're like middle-aged guys or whatever you no know? really what fucking, they, what they, if it's their own patch why can't they have it that means that well then it's like i think in like the gang thing it's on site like you're you're, you're flying <laughs> colors we're flying colors like are you about that life type thing they don't have to always fight they can't pass each other while they're grabbing while they're filling up and getting the Listen, snack i'm not the mayor of these fucking gangs i don't know i'm just telling you they bitched them out in the fucking gas station and the video was like pretty the bloods sweet. in the crips yeah. yeah exactly of like you know you're you're claiming you're in a motorcycle club. <laughs> it's the hell's angels and terry's disciples <laughs> <laughs> the dad's of oregon <laughs> Biker dads unite. <laughs> my, my dad actually. Carries yeah. disciples and gutter cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> I love, yeah, the Arrow idea. <laughs> the one guy's like, all right, boys, you think of what I'm thinking? Rob a bank, get ice cream. No. I, 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 <laughs> Start cooking meth. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, oh, I just, I got a little carried away with the whole gang thing, guys. <laughs> yeah, we're thinking about driving down to spring training. Yeah. <laughs> Holy it's been, shit. I've been lonely since Cheryl left. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's just looking to start a gang. <laughs> yeah, let's fucking kill someone. You're like, what the fuck, John? Hey, I haven't talked in a while. How you doing? So I was thinking, what do you think about starting a gang? <laughs> <laughs> we murder a couple of guys, hey? Get a little street cred. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> then I'll finally get Cheryl back. <laughs> <laughs> That two-timing bitch will know what's up. <laughs> oh, hi, Cheryl. Oh, this is just me and my gang. <laughs>
<laughs> this all right. This one is from Shower Your Pud. Uh, never had a question read. Did your mom used to write your last name on all your stuff in case it was lost or stolen? For example, sports equipment, school supplies, tags on your clothes, etc. I never did that. We never had our name on anything, really. Mr. I feel like you probably had Mr. that. Mr. Long, I'll go to you first. Uh, yeah, I think first name, though. Right. Like, this is Ryan. Yeah. yeah. And the cocky first name. and shit like yeah. that. Yeah. Inside your glove or whatever. Okay, mm-hmm. yeah, that makes sense. Yes, I had Henry Foley written in perfect penmanship in Sharpie pen on Thousands of pairs of tidy whitey underwear. It's sort of a rich guy move. If found, can... please return to three 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 Main Street. Then <laughs> you can't hand He's them only down got after a few that. <laughs> He's real fat and hard to shop for. Please bring him back. Sure, it kills a move with your high school girlfriend when you take your little fucking skivvies off, dude, and I... your names on them. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! These are my brothers. God damn it! <laughs> They're women's I mean, panties. <laughs> write your name on your underwear. What kind of life are you living where your full name's on your tidy whities as a kid? I know. It's fucked up. I, and there was a moment where it had gone on too long. I do remember. <laughs> I do remember about to hook up with somebody, and I remember taking my pants down and just it, I, I caught my eye. It said Foley right over the. Uh, right over just the your thing. family. They all share them. <laughs> your mom, your dad. Everybody's wearing the same undies. <laughs> Is an apostrophe S? Foley's. <laughs> Your family crest is on them. What's the fear? They get lost at the. Uh... It was. It was. Yeah, like where is your underwear off that much as a lo- kid? That's crazy. Unless you're going to sex parties or something. No, that's someone you go. You're, you, you go to someone. You go. Hey, give me. Yeah, all right. All right. Who's your knees? Makes it easier after the orgy. You know yeah, what I mean? That's real weird, dude. <laughs> no, it was. Your probably- underwear shouldn't come off as a kid anywhere. <laughs> It's weird if you leave the house and then come home without underwear on as a kid. God damn it, Henry, again? <laughs> That's fucking strange, dude. <laughs> you don't want the priest wasting their time trying to, re- <laughs> trying to redress you, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's, a, it's a business they're running. Um, no, that's you can't be doing that. No, that's it was left over from, like, maybe in, like, 10th grade or 11th grade. I went to, like, lacrosse camp or something like that. So when there's like a bunch of underwear involved, you know, it was Again, just you're not making a great case for yourself. So, uh, maybe ninth or ninth grade, <laughs> not junior year. Still, That's you're like, the- listen, when you're at college graduation, <laughs> things get <laughs> <laughs> things get a little wacky. I do feel like she did that for my college underwear too. To be honest with you, well, dude, when you hand them down, do you cross it out and put yeah. the other name on? <laughs> Property is <of> Steve. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's tough. I mean, I think we might have had it with, like, hockey glove or a baseball glove or something like sure, that. Maybe. Sure, sure. Um, I remember, yeah, like, tough. socks and underwear being in T-shirts. I remember having hand-me-downs equipment with fucking the name Joel. A lot of Joel's. No, no, this is a family <laughs> Just <some> friend. Guy. <laughs> Just some guy. <laughs> really? <laughs> my, that's some guy that my dad used to steal from. <laughs> <laughs> my dad was a bit of a klepto, you know? Joel was always walking on the rink looking for his stuff. <laughs> We just told him what it is. We used to have, uh, I don't know if you ever did this, but especially for hockey equipment, we I played hockey. It was so expensive. That's somebody's sweat. Man. I know. It's, it was tough, but we had played against sports <laughs> where you would go and buy used equipment. Yeah, we had that. Like you, but like, and I remember being like, like putting like old, like ice hockey pants on us. Some kid who was probably pissing himself. You know what I mean? <laughs> just wearing fucking dirty, sweaty, smelly equipment. It sucked. Yeah. yeah, especially when you're getting everything handed down, like the jock. It's like there's a the, you, there's a few things. The if, jock? You'll take you'll take. Uh, you'll I, take... Know, I, don't think, I, I think I wore a couple. <laughs> like, Mom once. sprung for a fresh jock. When Jesus. I used to play lacrosse, I stopped wearing a jock, and I look back and I'm like, that was crazy. But at the time, I was just like, you never get hit there. I just fucking couldn't run properly. Yeah, it was always yeah, it was, it was always in the way, and I'm like, get this thing the fuck out of here. Yeah, the cup, the cup, the jock was okay. It's actually pretty comfortable. But the, you, the cup killed well, me. Well, what's the point of the jog? Yeah, with no cup. cup. It's just a fucking... <laughs> <laughs> when you want to feel sexy at work, I don't just know. Just a banana hammock at that point. It's a garter belt. Yeah, <laughs> what the fuck? Those never, those never <laughs> added up to me anyway. What? The jock. They were, there was always something sexual about that. There's no need for that. That design. <laughs> it's a little what with the straps. Yeah, dude. Come <laughs> I on. never got it. I that was wasn't just... that wasn't just for baseball, I can tell you that. <laughs> that they should have had to <laughs> said that. The jock strap. It's not just for basketball. <laughs> Ever been to a key party? Yeah, that's weird, man. No. That's uh I remember when I was in they came out with shorts. Yeah, like I was, doing, I was on the shorts. Where it was like short, like little like 
kind of booty shorts or boxers. That, that makes, makes a little more <laughs> sense. Booty shorts. <laughs> Ladies. You said juicy on the back. You made it say it sound way less creepy than yeah. way more creepy. <laughs> All right, son, here's your booty shorts. <laughs> it says princess on the back. <laughs> Kevin, your coach is here. Get your booty shorts on. <laughs> well, you said you didn't want the jock. Uh, yeah, I never <laughs> fucked with it, really. Um, all right, let's see. This is from Kyle. Uh, did you and your family ever stand in the splash zone of the log flume? You know what? Like, uh, you know what? Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. You like stand over the bridge. That was real. That was real dirtbag family. Dude, that's all. That's that, <laughs> that's, is, that's, that is such a home run of a yeah, question. That's real dirtbag shit. You're standing there, and he says bonus points if you wore a poncho, because <laughs> it was in the beginning of uh, Step by Step. Right? Oh, you wouldn't know. I think it's a few. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. That scene's been done. Yeah. (laughs) That's hack shit. (laughs) Yeah. That was real fucking, real cool if you got soaked. Is it? Is Are you answering yes? I'm waiting for you to answer. My family, not my family. As a kid, you were probably like, yeah, you know, let's go get splat. I did that for sure. I don't think my, I don't think fucking Denise was standing there with her purse. We all did it. That was a part of, I remember a specific time going to Great Adventure with our families. Mm -mm. Okay. With our cousins and stuff. And that was... We th- that was a part of the ride, as far as I was concerned. You went first and stood there. Everybody got splashed. Maybe somebody took a picture, and then you went and got in line and got on the ride. And then stole the picture instead of paying the five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, when you get ready at the top, you grab the camera. You get a bit of a scheme together with Were the you family. a picture family? Would they buy the picture at the... Nah, I don't film. think we're buying up pictures. Yeah. I think they're probably snapping some photos personally. But yeah, of we course. used to have a photographer that traveled with us. <laughs> <laughs> we had a Toby that followed us around. <laughs> we had a we had a we had a producer. Andy Leibowitz followed us around for a little <laughs> while. Um went to the park, I've done the splash, can't didn't wear the poncho. Okay. Yeah, poncho's a tough look. I've in never any got, sense <laughs> of the way. I've never gotten a picture from a roller coaster. I, I think can, we I might have bought that. it. We would look I at them. Say that. We would look at them, but I don't think they were ever springing for the picture, really, no. in the frame. That's real trash. Do you see like, the the desk? Like the attendant gets mad if you try to take a picture of your with your cell phone, cutting into their profits. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they get pissed. Like, no, t- put that down. You're like the buddy. It's you, like you, bringing your own. You're food. not. You're not getting the money. Shut the fuck up. It's bringing your own popcorn into the movie <laughs> theater. True. Which do you do? Do you sneak not snacks my own in? popcorn. No one no, can make popcorn, it that good. popcorn, you'd be a piece of shit. Yeah. Do you sneak your snacks in? I bring my sandwiches in. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of burritos. <laughs> my sandwich. I go, hey, do you guys have a micro- my microwave? <laughs> <laughs> you might throw in a griddle. Hey, do you mind popping this Jamaican patty in there for a second? <laughs> hey, let me throw this in the air fryer real quick. <laughs> <laughs> More of a bring the booze into the theater guy. Okay. I don't mind. I've done that a couple of times. I've they don't sell dr- booze. They don't sell booze. Uh, I've gotten really drunk and gone to the movies, but then like that hangover kicks in around the second act, and you're like, uh, mine oh, kicks you in around out. the second movie because I'm a double feature guy. Uh, <laughs> what do you mean you're a double feature movie guy? Movie We just talked about you this. pay a ticket and oh, you don't okay. leave till they kick you out. We just talked about this on Patreon actually because T Bone sound like Catherine Hepburn. T Bone got fucking. I'm a double feature man. T Bone got caught. Will you time it out? <laughs> go like, rough. All right, there's an 11:15 <laughs> that, that finishes at one. And then the next movie I want to see starts. I have you time it out. Yeah. yeah, is that always your plan? Do you is do you usually? Well, no, because you, you know I don't. Once in a while you go with people that want to do that. So a lot of times you're it's a hard sell for the people that just sat through a two hour movie. You're like, oh, what are we doing next? And I was like, there's what? an eight fifteen of uh, <laughs> Happy Feet three we can make. <laughs> I was like, what the? It started fuck? ten minutes ago. I was like, go, what are you talking about? This yeah. was the event, dude. <laughs> yeah, we're not yeah. yeah, Aunt Marcia, I'm go like, hit. guys, let's never let this night end. <laughs> Talk about a guy who doesn't know when to wrap it up. Aunt Marcia, go, go hit that exit door real quick. All right, we doing a third place. You know what? You know what our old, uh, this is when I was like 14 or whatever, right? We used to go to the, this is the movie scam. So if like six of us were there and you, there was, so you buy the ticket and then you walk down the stairs and then there's an escalator up, right? Okay. Or no, so, oh yeah, so that's, that's what it was, yeah. So then we'd buy uh, two tickets or one, or one ticket. Oh, there's two different scams. Now I got it. One ticket, the guy goes through and sends the one ticket up on the escalator to the next Just guy. Just on the escalator. <laughs> that's pretty good. I'll, then, I, that's I'm pretty smart. That. And then the if next guy would come down. all those logistics work out perfect. Or you do it two tickets where one person keeps coming out and giving the other ticket. But the, that depends on the theater, you know, uh-huh. so they don't all have escalators. But if it's a per, in a perfect scenario, the yeah. escalator, you wrap it in something, send it up the escalator, and then the next guy comes down, sends it now, up. Now, none of this is recent behavior, obviously, right? This no, is this is my, like, late uh, uh, 20s. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Late 20s. <laughs> Fucking two, three years ago. <laughs> Pre-pandemic, at least. <laughs> no, this is uh, this is 14, 13, yeah. Now, obviously, the girl pays. I don't really have any of this. 
<laughs> because I, 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 I might have mentioned this before, but I could never figure out why. I remember one time we went to a drive through or drive in again with my with both both of our families or like three families. And we had like 20 people. Right. It's a drive through in the 80s. It was probably a dollar to get in. My, my one aunt, they had my one aunt tucked down and we put a blanket over. I mean, I'm a grown like, woman the, can't be doing the that. bill's going to be forty dollars anyway. What? What? I don't know why we did it. Yeah. I think we did it just to just to feel alive or whatever the fuck they were doing. <laughs> For the rush. <laughs> yeah. But I remember, I remember questioning that, like, what? The, what are we doing? That's that's, that's also crazy. I mean, also that she's the one that you know, the oldest lady. You're yeah. Why don't to... you put two kids <laughs> under the floorboard or something? You make some fucking. Some old lady with a hunchback creep down. Get in the glove compartment. Yeah. <laughs> Nana, get in the wheel well. Yeah, Under zip the it. <laughs> wheel well. Hold your breath, you dumb. <laughs> She's hanging on the bottom like fucking Bob De Niro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. That's so funny. Double feature, man. <laughs> Mm. Uh, oh, definitely. We said there. We used to have a joke where we go, "Has anyone ever done a triple feature?" I one guy didn't live to tell the tale. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dude, that's six hours in there. Came out, couldn't close his eyes. Yeah. Was, uh, I tell you what, you go into three D glasses. On, doesn't know what's you go into. You go into. You, a movie. you can't get back. You can't get, re-enter the real world. Yeah, you properly. too close to the sun. <laughs> You're institutionalized. <laughs> I'm in six D, man. I'm freaking out. Every time you wave to him, he hits the deck. Oh! <laughs> You're walking around McDonald's asking for a refill on popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, that's, that's some good stuff I remember one time we were smoking weed And we went to the movies And we got We were like alright movie starts in 15 minutes And we, it was like when you just started smoking weed So we like you ran outside Smoked weed In someone's car And then We got too high and missed that movie and So we went in we're like oh well the next one starts in a half hour uh, Let's go out We smoked more weed and then missed that movie <laughs> We missed like four fucking movies from getting too high in the backseat of like an Oldsmobile. Missed the whole run of English patient. <laughs> yeah. First two weeks, gone. <laughs> the whole run. <laughs> I just remember like trying to like, I, like you lose, it was like you lost all concept of time. Like, did we do this? How long have we been here? What the fuck's happening? <laughs> I could never really do that casually, smoke weed. No, we did it. We, we weren't able to do the thing. It sucked. <laughs> yeah, we're so worried. Kids today will never know how panicked it was back then. You were panicked. Yeah. Especially me. I felt like the it was the feds that were going to be closing in on us. <laughs> Smoking. Yeah, and then there was always the couple kids that were like, yeah, I just fucking smoked a big blunt and went to school. Like, yeah. That, grade yeah, nine. Yeah. And you go, who is this guy? Is he even human? <laughs> right now. Uh, this guy's a Yeah, cop, here, Terry man. was smoking this morning. You're like, what the fuck? Yeah, I would have a massive panic attack. <laughs> yeah. Pills hit when we were in high school. And I mean... Dude, there was dudes fucking... Talking about dropping inhibitions. Oh, my God. I remember... The, I, I think I might have said this. I heard one, one of my buddies took 10 uppers and 10 downers at the same time just to see if they would cancel out. He got carted out before lunchtime, that fucking kid on a show. But got 1,600 on his SATs. <laughs> it was out of 24, though. <laughs> Pretty good. Uh, all right, let's see. This one's from Lee. I would assume you have done this for sure. Foley, no way in hell. Ever play on a trampoline with a skateboard deck that didn't have trucks or wheels on it? Come on, yeah, you know, already know yeah, what it is. That's a good fucking <laughs> play on time. A trampoline. <laughs> that was the, the fucking shit, dude. That didn't have trucks or so. Just, so just the, the deck. And what are you doing? You're still doing your little tricks on it? Tricks? Yeah. No, you're running errands. <laughs> My yeah, little yeah, tricks. But how can you... I mean, if you call a kick... <laughs> <laughs> if you call a 360 flip into a nose bump, no a slide? little yeah. trick, apparently. <laughs> oh, 720s. Yeah, yeah, I guess wheel. Ollie Impossibles are little. I Buddy, guess. I'm bringing BMX bikes with no wheels on the tram. That was always... There was one kid in the town next door that you heard about that. With no like, wheels? Wouldn't you puncture it? No, that. people would do that. They would like put some sort of, like, you know, like a skateboard deck on the yeah. fork so it was, like, flat, and then you could... You like tail whips and shit. Let me ask you this. In that situation, doesn't it throw off the weight of the skateboard? Like, how can you do your little... No, no, you... no. You're, you're thinking it's more about the tricks. It's more about the, like, grab tricks. You know what I mean? Think of it more like snowboarding almost. So oh. you can do kickflips and stuff, but it's more like do a backflip and fucking you're holding yeah. the board the whole time. I gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Turn yourself right. into Sean White up there. <laughs> <laughs> the flying tomato. <laughs> I was going to say the big tomato. <laughs> <laughs> That's be you. <laughs> Or Here comes the big tomato. Lighter skateboard. Now you're doing quad kickflips like a damn boss. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, we did all that shit for sure. We used to do it with the wheels before we realized you could just use the deck. 
And sometimes you would land, and fucking this thing would shoot, dude. It My would be... body got shot off, broke his arm three places. Off a trampoline? Yeah, like a bone popping out arm break, You were a trampoline too. kid, huh? Yeah, we're a little bit of a trampoline kid. <laughs> well, when they hit- We had a trampoline- the... you, got you, got... Ri- you got it written all over you, Jack. We had to take trampoline at, like, school. He's going to his apartment. What you had to take about? trampoline at school? We had a tra- dude, we had a trampoline, like, class. <laughs> what, are you a Russian gymnast? What the- Who the fuck takes trampoline? I, I'm not kidding. <laughs> I had a... Yeah, it was like part of gym doing trampoline. What? Yeah, it's like an Ocean's Twelve school. <laughs> <laughs> right, and I got to hide in this box. Yeah, you no, know, we that. had that, and then we had bomb diffusion <laughs> after lunch. Then learn how to handle plutonium, you know. <laughs> ah, missing drone class. God damn it! <laughs> That's crazy. What? Yeah. Do you mean as a part of gym? Yeah, then after you know, then after after you got detention, you did holding your breath class, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and then sh- shitting out the key. What, what was the class though? Yeah. Like just no gym, back like this ad, but, but like that was an aspect. Of but it. a big <laughs> aspect. That's crazy. Like a, a if month you have of gym the year. and then that class, man. Yeah, yes. this is al- this is like elementary school, not high school. We had this is how we grew up in the suburbs. It was like developing outside of the city, mm-hmm. and we had uh, we had. Uh, not line dancing, but some country dancing, country dance, square dancing, square dancing. We had yeah. square dancing classes that was like on an audio tape. It was like now press stop. In and gym. we had like do si do and stuff. It was a tough look. I remember us getting as a caught fat up, little kid. Us getting caught up with a huge parachute for way too long in Dude, the year. The parachute. <laughs> was what was that about? When they broke that thing out and you, they would pop it up and then play under it. That was a that, you might as well have been in another dimension. That was good fucking. <laughs> it was like time. taking Molly. Fucking sandstorm starts playing. Once you got under that parachute, too, anything goes. You know, oh, <laughs> it's yeah. good for the local pervert of the town. <laughs> <laughs> There's just a grown guy in there. All right, everyone in the per- yeah, he cup goes of, in there. Cup he's of grabbing, Oh, what don't, I don't forget your underwear this time, Henry. <laughs> was a free for all when that parachute went up. Uh, <laughs> it's like hungry, hungry hippo for uh, pedos. <laughs> just keep grabbing. Yeah, just keep grabbing them up as they come. Oh, out. that'd be fucked up. That was a good time, though. We're gonna add someone to the parachute this year, kids. We're gonna put four known pedophiles. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> Uh, Just to prove that yeah. this game is safe. <laughs> um, do you ever jump off a trampoline into a pool? Uh, no, never really? had a pool near the tramp. Any yeah. jackassy type uh, stunts? Because I could oh, see it. Body. <laughs> that was my whole fucking thing when I was young. Is do not less jackassy and more. What's the most powerful out of fireworks that's and stuff ever like been that. taped to you? Yeah, we were. But again, I w- it was way our, our way group, less stunty. Yeah, we would still do that stuff, and we had a couple buddies. Like you know, we had one body that would he used to be able to chug a full thing of fucking uh, like like a twenty six or of uh, whiskey or whatever. And then he'd break Jeez. a skateboard over his head. <laughs> that was a trick that used to come out a lot. Oh my god! A lot of people jumping off high places, all that sort of shit, whatever. But the main thing was way more about like going, getting kicked out of all the places and all that sort of stuff. Filming like stealing the parents' car and then doing his who could do the most point turn in front of a city bus. <laughs> Just like fucking doing the Austin Powers thing. Yeah, the Mr. Bean Austin Powers. That's pretty good. I'll give you that. Oh, that's, that's pretty good. That's a good time. That's pretty good hijinks right there. <laughs> that's not hurting anybody. That's good. Clean so you're talks. a little late for work. Give the kids some credit. <laughs> a little Canadian mayhem, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, I would love to have. Get out of the way, you hoser. <laughs> I got to get to trampoline class. Let's go steal pens from the bank. <laughs> I'm going to take two lollipops. <laughs> I said Suri, but I didn't mean it. Oh. <laughs> Wouldn't it be a hoot if we signed up for dancing lessons, then did them? <laughs> <laughs> we'll show those bozos. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pay with cash when we actually have the card. <laughs> No, I don't have exact change. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Right, going, I, got two, oh, I got two nickels right here. You're going to have to break that. Five. <laughs> oh, God damn it. That's a fucking hoot right there. Oh, we there. did kill a guy, though. <laughs> <laughs> he had it coming. Oh, all right. I'm Ryan Long. Welcome to Funny Things We Do When We Film It. <laughs> <laughs> Took you Welcome to acting like a horse's We're ass. We invited, we invited Johnny over to play mini sticks, and he doesn't know that we already played earlier. 
<laughs> We're going to film the whole thing and get him. <laughs> <laughs> then we got to murder my mother's bird. <laughs> we, <laughs> you, take the, you take the curve of the mini stick and just fucking widen it out a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we flattened out the curve on his. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's got a flat stick, you know. <laughs> we replaced all the scissors in the house with lefties. Welcome back to Knuckleheads. Today we're going to fix my, <laughs> that's, my stepdad's That's dad. had to be a fucking show, Knuckleheads. Wait till I redo the interior of my mom's house. <laughs> we're going to we're gonna update it. See the look on her face. Uh, all right, let's do one or two more. Fun and stuff. we got to get out. This Good has stuff. A, this has been a hoot. going to replace my mom's uh, old plaid shirt with a brand new plaid shirt. <laughs> <laughs> she deserves it. She works hard, you know. She really, she really, you're a single mom. I was kind of Scottish when I went into it. Oh, you always go to Scottish whenever you do Canadian. Yeah. That's I mean, a, I think I can only do Scottish. Because you, you're doing the classic Canadian, like, oh, yeah, like that. Yeah, like, you're yeah, doing yeah. the island Canadian. If you want to do the Canadian I'm an that everyone actually does, you do the more, like, fucking right, eh? Just fucking ripping darts. Darts, That's, buddy. Yeah. yeah like like the, the Pavone. The, the P- Pavone's Pavone. a mix of Italian and Canadian. Yeah. yeah. Smoking darts, buddy? <laughs> yeah. Smoking, yeah. This guy's got a nice head of lettuce on him. Yeah, you're right, because he does say the same things, but it's a little more... He just, it's a little more He gets sharper. his hands yeah. involved, because it's right. The Canadian's like, body. And the bone's like, body. 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 <laughs> yeah, and you get the Italian influence in the Canadian. <laughs> but that old one like that, that's way more of the islands. The islands. Oh, not Nova the islands. Like Newfoundland. That's the... Newfoundland. Yeah, the East Coast. Yeah. Yeah, the real... Um, the fucking real, like, small town fucking boys. It's more about this fucking yeah, accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Smoking darts is good, too. Darts are all right. Darts is a good yeah, time. Darts is good. I'll give you that. Darts is a great name. Darts is good. I'm a Rip Bernie's a man. Just fucking North scrapping. of the border, I'm, I'm smoking darts. You better believe it. <laughs> Belmont. That's the big dart there. Dart. <laughs> dart. Belmont. Dart. Belmont. Uh, Belmont. Did you ever had Belmont? That's like no. The, that's the there are no Marlboros and shit up there. No, they oh no Marlboros, but they do have other things. You gotta you gotta you gotta get Marlboros from a guy. <laughs> really? You gotta talk. You gotta to know. I gotta talk to an American guy. <laughs> he used to be a big thing. Someone go on the trip to America and then have to take the orders from people. <laughs> Come back with oh, the good darts, man. you know. <laughs> Doing that across state lines is fucking trash. <laughs> oh, I love it in going New York. Going through customs, that's good. Well, the real trash is the res rockets. My body used to go res to the rockets. fucking rockets. <laughs> What's a res? This rocket? guy's smoking res rackets. <laughs> you go to the native reserves; they don't pay yeah, taxes. Native. You get a fucking plastic bag full of cigarettes. <laughs> yeah, Just and you using somebody else's. Hey, let me know when you're done with that pack, eh? <laughs> Filling up your own cigs in a pack. Yeah, we used a guy that used to tour with us that just have a big plastic Ziploc bag full of I feel like you've Lucy's. told me this, or I knew this. That's that. Maybe. He's done the show It's a known before. thing. Where do they get? Where do and they we get like the talking cigarettes about from? Darts. Where do they get this? Why are they Lucy's? You go to the, because, I mean, the, you buy them from the reserve, and it's not a big company. It's some guy that rolled them. Oh, really? Bro, yeah. he just said that three seconds ago. I, I, thought, I thought they just sold them on there. I thought they were major companies that just sold them through. No, the I don't think you pay taxes. Is the idea like? Yeah, yeah. I thought yeah. they got like the like the, the leftovers or like or, the ones that didn't fit. Or it something. might be it's like DJ Max for Bernie. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. We get all the irregulars, the ones with the stains <laughs> on them. A couple of res rackets, you know. I mean, this one's extra long, but it's this pretty good. This one's got a little lipstick on it. It's still good <laughs> yeah, that's what I fucking thought. I didn't know it was some dude rolling hey, a fucking hey, zip head, bag of already, cigarettes. They're already smoked. You know, what you're not supposed to do. Lucy's the place by my house like sells people loose cigarettes and they have a lighter that's taped Tape, to a yeah. string from I thought that that's like, that's, that's when you know garbage, a right? bad neighborhood you know a, you know a shittier neighborhood will sell you Lucy's in a really bad neighborhood you can smoke inside <laughs> inside the bodega <laughs> that's what it is. or yeah. at least light it and make you the light quick it and walk, walk out but hold on yeah. hey, you know what the thing you know yeah. Isn't that still, funny I, know, I guess it's not weird for you for me I was like this is crazy also too I like the I like finding a place the place in my uh, neighborhood has the ten dollar cigs where they come from a different state. They ship them up from like Georgia oh. or whatever, where there are only ten clams. Yeah, Virginia. I bought a pack. It. I bought a pack at fucking Seven Eleven or something the other day, and they charged me seventeen dollars for a pack of cigarettes. You believe these kids? God, They're getting damn up it. there. Need a couple of res rockets. Uh, all right, screeching halt. Uh, <laughs> T-bone I left you thing. hanging for the Purdue thing. <laughs> <laughs> I riffed on the chickens with Purdue. Fair enough. Um, all right, this one's from Cousin Jeffrey. Ever been to a Ripley's Believe It or Not? 
I have in Canada, I for believe. Dinner. Or at Niagara Falls. I don't know what side it was Niagara on. Niagara Falls yeah. is a big, yeah. I've been to all that stuff. <laughs> what, what is inside there? Guinness Book of World Records type shit, right? Yeah. Like the stories behind it. But the, the thing is, and and a lot of uh, wax sculptures of, you know, a guy right, that so was so like Madame Tussauds. They're I like connected, you. I think. It's the same guy who like takes, the, they're always next to each other. If yeah. you ever notice. At any like shitty strip mall or whatever, not strip mall. You mean the guy that did the show? What was his name? Those things are a fun rip, though, to go on a date. You know what I mean? You go with your chick, and you get drunk, and rip around, see the bearded lady. <laughs> yeah. I've never... No? I've, I've, no? I just walked by the Madame Tussauds on 42nd Street the other day, and there's they have a Jimmy Fallon out front that like looks nothing like Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> it looks like they fished him out of the East River. It does not look like him. And that's on the display. Yeah, that's like the first thing, and I'm like, there were people uh, waiting It's mob hit Jimmy Fallon. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. Get in line. All right. We got to wrap it up, gang. Gang, we love you. Been a Ryan, hot one. We love you. Mm-hmm. Love Thank you, you for too. coming in. Uh, anything you want the folks out there to know you got coming up? What's the scoop? <laughs> yeah, the main it. thing is check out the podcast I do every uh, Friday, 100%. Boys Cast, and uh, patreon.com slash the Boys Cast. Mm-hmm. And I do sketches every Monday. And I'm releasing a stand-up special next month, actually. Nice. Congratulations, brother. It's awesome. Where'd you it's film fun. it? At the stand. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Ooh, very nice. Very cool. Almost done. I'm editing it. Nice. Gang, check that out. Kippy, you got anything for him? Uh, check out our special live shows, the whole fucking nine yards. Uh, Loved your special, by the way. That was appreciate great. it. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, guys, at Kevin Ryan Comedy on all social media. Cool. Real quick, T-Bone with the weather. <laughs> That's it, guys. Have a good night. Peace.